Welcome to Mark's Motor Sports and Farming Channel. In this video, we will be inspecting the fuel cultivator. You know, just make sure that nothing's missing on it. And, you know, because I say inspecting because there's, you know, not a whole lot of greasing to do on it. You know, mostly just look it over. I mean, the only greasing there is is, you know, bearings for each of the tires and possibly the pivot points so, so yeah the, this is one thing where you know it has to be off the ground in, in order to get that done too so and, uh, I'll, how soon this how soon we'll be able to get this off the ground, I'm not sure, but, you know, it will happen pretty soon, and then, by the end of this video, that, that should be all that's left, is just a, you know, grease the few spots that there are, and, you know, make sure the tires have the right, right amount of air, and, and then it'll be ready to go. But, yeah, it's one nice thing about me having this camera that I can also use it as as a way to inspect things that are up high like this. Like now you can see the shovels all look, you know, like they're in pretty good shape yet. No broken ones. At least on this wing. Look at the hero a little bit more. And looks like the teeth are all there too. So that takes care of this wing. And then from from what I can see it looks like all the shovels and shovels are, are so good and everything on the on the main part you know the part that carries all the weight even when even when you have it and you know fold it up for travel like this but there too I'll, you know I'll get a better idea once once it's up once it's up off the ground, I'll be able to see those things for sure. So we can move over to the other wing here. Start with a hero being on by it. And it looks like it's good to go for the hero. So now the shovels. Sweeps, they're, they're also called pretty often. And... Once again, it looks like they're all pretty good yet, so... So, yeah, with, with that, that, all that's left to do is and get the main part up off the ground and then the little bit of greasing there is to do on here can be done and make sure that tires have the right amount of air in them and then it's good to go so so I hope you guys enjoyed that video And uh, there's a lot of the other stuff that, that we have that we're, you know, going to be using this spring has, has a little more greasing involved in, than this does. So there will certainly be some videos on that. 
And then... You know, with, uh, with... Spring field work approaching, there's... You know, I will still be... You know, posting videos of getting stuff ready. You know, as it starts getting closer, and... And then, one, once field conditions are right, then, then you'll start seeing a few videos of, of the field work actually happening. Uh, hopefully not more than a month from now, but it's, it's hard to say right now how, how long it'll take for the frost to get out yet. Uh, Today is March 25th, and you know, I'm supposed to have a pretty rainy afternoon and evening coming in, so you know, hopefully that helps with, helps with the frost. And like I said a little bit earlier, you know, as I'm able to get stuff ready for the fields and. And then they're, they're, you know, I'll be posting videos that that stuff as stuff gets ready. So, so with that, I thank you guys for watching my videos. I certainly appreciate that. Be sure to click on the like button, and if you haven't already, be sure to click on the subscribe button. And then. And once you're subscribed, then you can click on the bell, and then you'll get notified whenever I post a new video to the channel. Be sure to follow Mark's Motorsports Sports and Farming channel on Facebook as well. Thanks again for watching, and I'll catch you later.